Hey fellow TBNers and YouTubers, beautiful day here in the great Pacific Northwest and I thought I would put together a video of a simple little mod you can do on your BX or whatever. Stay tuned. I ordered a couple of uh, golf cart uh, side view mirrors that I plan on using. Got this off idea off another member of TBN who a lot of you know and this is what I plan on using. I think I paid about $30 US. I pulled the tractor into the garage and as you can see it's uh, a little bit dirty but have been using it. Um, where I plan on mounting the uh, the mirrors is going to be on the forward uh, towers of the FEL so I'm I'm thinking right about in this area right here and I'm going to use uh, click bond fasteners to mount it so it's going to be no holes no drilling no welding and uh, should be a permanent installation and but it is removable if it needs to be okay the brackets that came with these aren't ideal and the location that I've chosen uh, doesn't really work right with the stock brackets but until I can fab my own brackets that uh, raise the mirrors up just a bit I am going to uh, modify the brackets short uh, just a little bit and uh, drill another hole and allow for the uh, mounting of the uh, adhesive bonded studs so more on that coming okay on the right side I had to remove the uh, FEL uh, control sticker and then get that cleaned up so I've done a little bit of scuffing here taking off the shine do a little bit of solvent wipe and make sure you get all that uh, all that gum from that sticker off and let that flash off and now we're ready to go and uh, if this doesn't uh, hold to the paint and I tear the paint off then we'll We'll, we'll bond down back onto the bare metal. Okay, what I've done here is just used a little vis-a-vis uh, -vis pen, a whiteboard pen that will easily come off and I've marked where I want the fixture to rest so the click bond stud is properly located. And Then I'll come down here and I'll do another one that's uh, pretty well lined up and make sure that it uh, I get my bald head in there make sure that it's uh, pretty close to lined up and then we'll just match the uh, hole that I've got to drill so there's the pattern and uh, now we're gonna mount these click bonds okay so we're gonna use the click bond adhesive here and uh, this is the simple dispenser it's got a uh, push stick it works like a caulking gun here's the adhesive and there's a uh, two-part very fast carrying acrylic that I'll be using there's also a packet uh, three and a half gram packet that you can use um, uh, if you don't have everything here uh, to use it including mixing tips you can just mix this up by hand using a uh, little piece of plastic and a tongue depressor a little mixing stick so what I'm going to do is take off the adhesive backing and uh, stick that on the gun. I'm going to remove the tip and squirt a little bit into a bag here and just make sure that I got both sides flowing before I put the tip on. I got one and I got the other. And then I'm going to put a mixing tip on and uh, just bayonet mount just like a camera and then I've got a couple of uh, studs here that I'm going to mount um, they're all ready to go here I'll take, take the double back tape off like so I'm going to squeeze a little bit of adhesive through the tube here That first stuff might not be quite mixed, so I'll just squeeze a little extra out into the bag. You don't have to use very much of this stuff, just a little bit of bead about the size of the pea because most of it squeezes out. So I'll put a little bit on here. 
and you want to work quickly with this because it does cure up fast so you want to have everything uh, ready to go as far as surf surface prep got the adhesive on and then we'll move over and uh, install them okay hopefully you can see the little marks that I made on the the uh, tractor here where I want to install it but I'm just going to locate this fixture right there where I've got those marks press down on the outside press down on the inside and there's one and the other one down here and uh, locate that so I've got my two studs located and uh, give that about an hour and I'll tear those fixtures off and then I'll just double check those uh, distances uh, between the studs and I'll take the bracket that uh, is going to mount on here and uh, put an extra hole in there so I can use what I've got until I get a chance to fab my own and let's see how that goes okay it's been about an hour and I'm gonna tear these fixtures off you just have to twist and rip like so and hopefully those little marks I can just wipe off I should probably use something better than my finger but there's the mounting studs okay these should be dry and you can use the fingernail test and see how hard that adhesive is and if it's good and hard then just give it a good rip and a yank and these things are on here good and hard I'll just take a little bit of solvent wipe clean up those little indexing marks for the fixture get that all kind of cleaned up and ready to mount the brackets as soon as I drill an extra hole to line up that bracket on there as you can see the bracket itself is going to need an extra hole okay see I've got this thing bolted on uh, and now it's simple just uh, two bolts on either side of an angle clamp and I got my uh, mirror on the left side completed okay adhesives dried and we're ready to go I, I made a couple of or actually a little cushion cushions here little shims to kind of dampen out the vibration a little bit bracket on and uh, put a couple of nuts on I don't have lock washers right handy so I'm gonna put a couple of jam nuts I'm gonna redo this anyways with some better better uh, vibration insulation it's a little just a little bit thicker and and what have you but put that on like so okay that side's tightened up and the mirror side actually came with a couple of uh, nylon or nylock nuts so I'm putting those on and we'll tighten that up okay just tightening these things up and the ones on the mirror I don't want to over tighten because they look like they're just some studs that are molded into that uh, plastic fitting so there you go okay all finished sitting up on the tractor and gonna give the mirrors a little check and uh, I can just reach over I can bring them all the way in keep them closed tight spaces or stick it out just got a good view of my uh, back blade there and on the other side same thing and you can see the blade sticking out as well on that side get that all adjusted and ready to go and I'm more turning the net head all the time I love it